Now this is a face only a mother could love. It's a hellbender, North America's largest species of salamander. The hellbender is found, among other places, in the mountains of western North Carolina, but it's a species that's facing real challenges. North Carolina is home to more different kinds of salamanders than any other state in the country, but the hellbender is one species whose numbers are declining. And the North Carolina Zoo is involved in a research project to help determine why the hellbender population is dwindling. Zookeeper David Strickler tells us more about the hellbender and its plight in the wild. We've got habitat loss, we've got uh, pollution of uh, these great streams. We're trying to determine how many are actually left here in the wild. And we get a couple scuba divers or snorkelers with masks under and we, we're feeling up under these boulders finding Hellbenders, and we either do it by sight or by feel, hellbenders are a cold water amphibian. They live up under rocks and they need this cold, moving, fast water to survive and lay their eggs. We found two today, a small male and a very large male, probably a 16 inch male. This is Laurel Creek. We're near Asheville. Back at the North Carolina Zoo, we have an ecosystem very similar to this called the Streamside Exhibit. By surveying this population of hellbenders, it helps us determine exactly the health of the environment and what we got to work with. By determining the population counts in the streams of western North Carolina, the zoo is helping to save the hellbender and other salamanders native to our state. If you'd like to learn more about the zoo's research projects, please check out our website at nczoo.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney, connecting your life to wildlife.